Hey everyone, it's been a quite a while since I made anything on Inkscape. So today I'll be showing you a cool trick to connect different parts without altering their shapes. So let me show you an example to explain what I actually mean here. So you can see there are five parts on my screen. And my objective is to connect this semicircular path between these gaps without changing its shape so if you try to do this directly you can see whenever you try to connect these end nodes uh, shape is changing so this is not what we want we want this to remain a semicircle so even if i try to scale it down you can see it's hard to estimate the actual distance between the two So it's quite difficult and by the way my snap cusp node is active so make sure it's active for you in your case also. So let me show you a simple way to connect this path between these gaps. So I'll just select this path and go to path, path effects and I'll click this plus icon and you can see you know in this list down here there is something called as transform by two points I will just click add now you can see this effect is added to our path now when I select this node tool you can see there is this blue line between these two nodes so now all we have to do is simply drag this end point to this node and drag this and point to this node and you can see that the shape is not changed and we have been able to achieve our objective now let me just duplicate it four more times and repeat the procedure so I'll select this node tool You can see we can easily change the position of the nodes without worrying about actual shape. So let me just flip this uh, shapes horizontally but actually here it is our horizontal but for this tool it's vertical because uh, you know this flipping is happening with respect to this line. So in this case I will click this flip vertical. and for this to also I'll click flip vertical now you can see how easily we have been able to connect these parts actually you you should actually uh, you know play around with these tools because they are very useful now if I just click this elastic transform mode what it actually does it uh, you know it gives elastic property to your object so let me give you an example so I will duplicate this one and I will turn this elastic mode on now you can see whenever I stretch this it also stretches like a rubber band and whenever I squeeze it it also squeezes so you can use that if whenever you want so right now we don't need it now the final step is to connect this path now if you you know if you click on this path you can see that it has this path effect so when you try to connect these nodes you cannot actually do that because actual nodes of these paths are here you can see okay so if you want to connect this circle with this path first you have to remove this you know first you have to convert this path into sorry this object into a path so what I will do is I will select this path and go to path and click object to path now this is a path you can see that effect is gone but position and its shape is same so let me do this for remaining three objects
okay now we can successfully combine these parts together all we have to do is just go to path and click union oops sorry you you cannot do that what you have to do is select this path and you can see there are two nodes here at the connecting end so you have to select those two nodes and click on this join selected nodes now this is a single path you can see now repeat this procedure for all the connections so let me do it quickly here okay now last one okay so now you can see our path is connected and we have this single path of 30 nodes so hope you like this tutorial and don't forget to check other videos on my channel there are many inkscape videos so see you soon have a nice day